Hello viewers on YouTube. In our video today, we are converting this motor. It was a washing machine motor. I think the washing machine was a LOG 6kg top loader, something like that. Okay, but anyway, here are the details. Oh, sorry. 150 watts. 230 volts 240 50 seconds 1.2 amps okay so uh, before i go far check out the wires the wires they are 0 0.5 millimeters which is the thick enough to produce uh, enough voltage to power the big load okay so as i was explaining last time in our last video i can say like previous video i said they can mark it like this 150 watts okay it can be 150 watts but the moment we change it uh, from the motor to a ac alternator the watts changes okay let's say this is 150 watts power consumption when it's working as a motor but once we convert it as an uh, ac alternator the watts goes higher maybe times two or maybe times three okay so we're gonna see that soon but for now let me show you this this was the original rotor for this motor See that so as you can see there there's no inner space here that we can put the magnets so instead of cutting this maybe we're gonna need this motor to reuse again in other projects so instead of cutting this just take this out and find something small like this which can go here and leave some space for for magnets okay so here so you can see right here is uh smaller comparing to this you can see the shape there but now i already made it easy i put these magnets just four poles of magnets south north south uh okay yeah, like this s n s n okay just four poles only all right so now we're not gonna need this in this project and uh, one more thing here you can see these bearings they are big okay so the one we're using the rod we're using is smaller that means we need small bearings so this is what i did because we're using small bearings I put glue in the other space just to hold the bearing at the middle all right so let's put this aside we're not gonna need it now and first let's push this right here okay now it's done done putting anything else together you can see there okay so let's see how much voltage 
coming out from this there is 250 volts AC you can see the symbol this side okay so first of all we're going to check which wire is uh, giving us more output so first let's go with blue and red right see that it's 14 or 12 volts something like that all right now let's move red and yellow red and yellow okay see that that's 25 25 volts anyway okay so now uh, let's check yellow and blue yellow and blue 12 14 no so that means we're gonna use red and yellow okay let's push this one inside right now there we go now let's use probe to spin it and uh, let's see how much voltage can come out from it okay for testing this is enough ready so that's about 145 and we're not putting too much yet okay let's add a little bit lines to okay here see this time okay 183 i'm scared because the maximum here is 250 so if i pull it harder otherwise we're going to damage the multimeter so let's check this let's confirm if this power or this voltage can be used to power something okay this is 9 watts light bulb 9 watts so we have a lot to test I hope that's enough see that because it's nine watts so we don't need much okay so on top of nine watts <coughs> let's add these 55 watts uh come on focus 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 see that 55 watts all right connecting it Remember, it's 150, so this is 55 watts. So let's see. All right, ready? Uh, don't kill me. Come this side. Thank you. All right. One more time okay doing it again sorry the camera was uh, was not stable so I tried to do some little touches okay last time ready all right 
anyway that was a small load that's like 55 plus this is 64 watts okay let's put these guys aside now let's bring this this is 30 watts right there oh okay now let's connect it this 30 watts in the see if we can be able to power it that's enough ready <coughs> okay that means it didn't put enough well don't worry this time i have this Ooh. Right, ready? Oh, yes. That's it. Okay, one more time. Okay, that's thirty watts with all these LEDs right there all right now as I was saying that this voltage once you convert this into a AC alternator the voltage or I mean the the watts can go high so if you remember our machine here is 150 watts See that and uh, right here oh, I have these 200 watts light bulbs the old school ones was we're no more using these ones not many places we only use these energy save but now let's use these ones for better test so we have 200 watts right here 100 watts and 100 watts now we have 200 watts so let's see if we can be able to power these 200 watts light bulb okay let's uh, prove it that's 150 watts motor once we convert it into an AC alternator can be able to produce uh, more watts than what they show right there okay ready three two one see that gonna do it again that's enough just this line is for testing okay ready all right or well, maybe should I off the the light bulbs no but you can see that or maybe let me do like this okay let me face them this side so maybe you can see that it's happening it's happening right here it's really happening no jokes is right ready okay so for now i would like to stop there because let's keep adding for the next video
the bigger test will happen in the next video but for now please don't forget to subscribe and like if you love the video you can ask whatever you want to ask i hope i will respond to your question thank you very much